Uh, next near this, yes, yes, you, sir. Have you, would this work? How is it going to affect like performer selection? Because I'm like, I'm thinking like, and maybe I don't know behind the scenes, but Ali Brosh, like what happened for that one? I don't know how that would have worked. There were two shows, and uh, another more follow -up, I guess, kind of on that is how well would it have to go? <laughs> to just actually have our own boat built, spec out a boat, <laughs> would be uh, like fifty percent of the ship would be one huge theater. Yeah. What does cool. it? What does a boat uh, actually cost to buy? Does anybody know? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> half, we've looked into it. We've looked into it. H hundreds of millions. <laughs> hundreds of. Oh, that's a lot cheaper than I thought. Hundreds of millions. Well, you can finance them, and they, they're not that much. But I guess you gotta. Uh, yep, you, we would have to. We would. Ha I mean, if we bought a boat, we would have to rent it out over the course of the year to uh, to pay for. I, sp I suppose you have to pay a lot of money to keep it somewhere. You probably got to clean it. Yeah. I, got, I got a pretty big backyard. Yeah. I got a pool there. I can... uh, no, your, your question about your question about Ali's uh, Ali show is a good one. Uh, you know, I I, uh, I don't know. I don't, uh, to, <laughs> to the extent, I mean, uh, again, obviously none of the programming is in place yet. But part of the philosophy in looking at some of these other theme cruises, like things like the uh, Prairie Home Companion Cruise, was a really good model for my thinking in that what they do there is as far as the individual performances those more happen in the smaller venues over the course of the week and then the big stage shows are more sort of special events and things that you're not going to see anywhere else it's the mixing and matching of groups of performers like for for example when we had the thrilling adventure hour on what was it two years ago events like that where it's 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 an entertaining thing but it's not just person standing on stage performing it's this great mix of all these people those are the types, not that every one of those shows will be like that, but that's, those are the kinds of things, for example, for me right now that I'm looking into seeing how we can make happen. And that way, uh, it's, uh, well, first of all, it, it, free, it lets us get more performers on the ship, uh, you know, and, and people are seeing more and more interesting stuff. Uh, so, so that's that's sort of where my thinking is on that right now. Yeah, and I guess the, the general answer is that you know what what I mean. Let's say Allie did two shows, and one of her shows was like that, and the other show it was lights falling down from the ceiling instead of easels falling or whatever. You know, there would be there would be two different Ali Brosh show uh, experiences, and and yeah, you know, I suppose you you lose you lose something by not having everybody share in that. One experience. We, under, we understand your FOMO here. Yeah, and, but the theory is that we gain we gain so much more by being able to do these mix and match events and 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 have more performers and have more and, more things happen. and shared experiences. There are things right. that we'll be able to do on a full ship. Like we are all going to be on in one place at the same time. The boat. <laughs> right. <laughs> and like there are things where we can reach everyone at once. We already have ideas. Some of them are already partially formed that everyone's going to experience it at the same time, even though we're not, we can't all see each other. Uh, those are going to be cool. And also, you've probably noticed a little bit now, we're kind of making everyone make some decisions this year. And I had a really fun experience, which was I had a time obligation and I couldn't go see Evan Schleider do his theremin thing, which I was really excited to see. But then I talked with, I think it was Jim Boja, who did see it. And I was so excited to hear about what he had seen, and then also to hear that and Evan's going to try to set it up later. So I said, that's awesome, and maybe I'll be able to catch it the next time. And that's what Paul's talking about, and having performers have a couple of different times, not to work them to death, but so that you might hear about something that you didn't even know you were interested in. You talk to a friend who saw it, and then be able to go see it later, and we're only going to have things on the ship that are awesome. Uh, so, oh, well, a couple of garbagey things, probably. Yeah, <laughs> try to guess which ones they are. <laughs> which is all to say, yeah, we're super aware uh, that um, that we are losing that experience of all of us at the same time. Though even there, we're thinking about uh, working on a way to do that, uh, maybe on land during the cruise, so that we can have an experience where we're all in the same space uh, visibly. <laughs>